Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the top 15 free stock photography websites that I use on a daily basis. Uh, but before I get stuck in, I'll just let you know, I'll put a link down below in the description to my website where you can get links to all of these websites and just browse to your heart's content. Okay, let's get stuck straight in. So kicking off number one is the uber popular stock photography website, Unsplash. Um, so this stock photography website would have to have, I'd say, the biggest community out of any of these websites. And after you go through some of these photos, you can see why. Um, just from the front page, you can see that a lot of the photographers that contribute to this website are absolute professionals and take a lot of pride in their work. And also, just the quality is outstanding for all of these photos. And best of all, they are royalty free that you can use for your own uh, personal or commercial purposes um, but just as a side note it's always best to check the Creative Commons and uh, the policies on the website just to confirm and as I was touching on before it's a really good platform to share your own photos so if I go to one of these photos for example and click on this and if I go to info you can see all of the information about uh, the, the camera that it was taken on, the lens and the settings. So it's a good avenue to actually learn about how these types of photographers are capturing these images. And then as you can see here, this has been viewed 70,000 70, times. It's been downloaded close to 320 and has 26 likes. And if I click on this person here, it will take me to their kind of portfolio slash profile. And then you can put in a website to your own kind of um, portfolio and get leads for own personal work as well. Um, so it's a really good, really good website to download images and also upload your own images to contribute to the large community. And also as a side note, a lot of the other websites in here have taken inspiration from Unsplash. Um, so they're almost like copycats. Um, so they have a smaller community, um, but nonetheless, they do provide some really good options as well. So moving on to number two is Pexels, which is another great uh, free stock photo website. Um, I, I find their variety is not as professional as compared to Unsplash. Um, there still is a massive, massive catalog of images that you can download uh, that I would highly recommend. And these are really good, um, kind of more like intermediate beginner photographs and also a lot of professional photos as well. And as again, you can make your own profile and share your work as well. So this is a really good option for those who are looking for images for their websites or magazines or any other kind of media purpose. So moving on to the second website is Pixabay. Uh, I use this really frequently as well. There's a lot of stunning images as you can see from their front page. Um, and it's got a really wide, wide um, kind of breadth of images as well. So moving on to the fourth one is Foodies Feed, which as you can guess from the name is all focused on food. Um, so this is kind of like a Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, all combined together, but just focusing on food. Um, so if you have a food blog or food Instagram, you can kind of get some kind of substitute images to fill in a blog post or any other use as well. And uh, just as a side note, you always want to check uh, the Creative Commons. Um, while these websites do promote free photos, it's also good to check with the creator and give them acknowledgement if you were to share these photos on your website or Instagram as well. So moving on to the next website is New Old Stock. So this is a really unique website that I found that shares a lot of um, older images, more vintage style images that are in the public domain that you can also use. So majority of these will be black and white. Um, so there may not be as many purposes uh, that you can use them for, uh, but nonetheless, they're very interesting to look at and you can generally find a purpose if you're kind of within a particular niche as well. So moving on to the next one is stocksnap.io. So this is another free photography website, um, similar to Unsplash, where there's a large, large category of different types of images. And there's also a search feature and popular searches as well. So you can go in and uh, look for different types of searches. And so moving on to the next one is Burst. And this is actually a kind of sister website to Shopify 
where they share stock photos for people that will meet that will maybe be starting their own Shopify store. Um, so there's a really large catalog of kind of really well done photographs um, that I guess they want to kind of push people to use on their Shopify stores. So moving on to the next one is Gratos, Gratosgraphy. I can't really pronounce that correctly. Uh, but this is another great website that has a lot of quirky and really creative kind of abstract photos as well. Um, so you can see here there's a few cats and dogs and if you scroll through you'll find some really good um, photos as well. So moving on to the next website and this is freestocks.org. Um, so as I was saying before a lot of these websites towards the end of the list are kind of very similar to Unsplash. Um, they have a really nice collection of photographs but the communities aren't as big. Um, so here you have kind of more beginner slash intermediate types of photography that you may find on Flickr um, But instead people have uploaded these photos uh, that they've put out there to share and um, Yeah, I'd recommend checking out their privacy policy just to confirm as well and moving on to the next one is Picography.co and this is another gorgeous free image website um, like again It's very much like unsplash but if you can't find your particular image on any of these other sites, you can always move your way down the line and move on to these sites and hopefully you can find that perfect image that will fit well into your project. So moving on to the next one is MMT Stock. Um, so I'd say these two websites are almost identical, in, identical to each other in the way of the photographs that they share. Um, so just as you scroll down you can see the types of photos um, a lot of these are taken with iPhones or entry-level point-and-shoot DSLR cameras But nonetheless they do give a very authentic feel um, that you can share for your own projects as well So moving on to the next one is Kaboom Picks. Um, this is actually another really great website that I really really like um, There's a lot of really well-made images in here um, and a lot of these really do have nice filters on them so they're ready to download and kind of use for whatever purpose you'd like to and as always I always think it's really good to give acknowledgement to the photographer um, that's whether you link back to their particular website if they've put that on there or link back to their profile on the specific site that you got it off so moving on to the next one is Skitter Photo um, so this is like a more like traditional stock photo website um, like a Shutterstock um, this is stuff you'd most probably find on like business um, local business websites and things like that um, but nonetheless there are some good images that you can download the catalog isn't as big um, but there are some good pics throughout here and moving on to the next one is Life of Pics and again this is a really nice catalog of images very simple, very minimalist, but nonetheless there's a lot of good picks in here. And moving on to the very last pick of this list is lightsvisual.co. Um, so this is a website that put up seven high that send seven high images zipped into your inbox. Um, so you get kind of an invitation to new photos that have been released. Um, I think it's on a weekly basis. Um, but this is a really nice addition to finding free stock images as well. So hopefully this video has helped you guys to find some good images for your next project. And as always, always check out the privacy terms and the creative comments just to double check. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please hit that thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.